What's up everyone, this is Jason from Reality X Lite. Today I will walk you through the process of how to make this car render you just saw. By following this process you will be able to make a car render of your own which you will be able to use for your portfolio and maybe even land you a job. The car model will be available for download in the description down below. So when you open the blend file it's gonna look like this. Let's get started. Create a circle with the fill type end gone and scale it up. Extrude it and delete the top face. Bevel the bottom edges, shade smooth and subdivide. Now you have your studio. Ok now let's get started with the shading part. Let's make the car paint first. You take a noise texture and scale it to 2000 to create the flakes. Connect it to the roughness channel. Control the roughness with a color ramp. Duplicate the color ramp and connect it to an emitter node. To make the flakes glitter, combine both of them with a mix shader and control the fact with a Fresnel node. That's your car paint. Now apply the car paint to the necessary parts of the car. Let's get on to the beamer. Remove the principal shader and add the transparent and glass node. Combine them with a the mix node. For this to be visible in EV, go to the texture panel and check the screen space reflection. Apply this on the back as well. For the metal, crank the metalness up to 1 and reduce the roughness to your liking. So this part I've noticed is a black shiny plastic with little bumps. We will drive that with a noise texture. Connect it to a normal map and connect the normal map to the height of the bump map. Plug that to the normal of the principal shader. Reduce the roughness to make it shiny. This process may look a bit tedious to you guys but trust me, in the end it's always worth it. When I showed my final result to the head of the graphics department, who is by the way a highly regarded one, he gave me his feedback and told me to tweak the specular and other small stuff like that. And in the end he told me it was good to go. So that's when I realized these type of renders can be used for professional standard as well. Now let's get on to the inner part of the headlight. I feel like this is a highly reflective material so I'm gonna make it accordingly. So I'll reduce the roughness very low. This part we will give it a glass material. I'm giving the edges the black plastic material that we created. Now for this part we're gonna give it an emitter shader so that light comes out of it. Make the strengths 500. We're gonna do it for the back as well. Here we're gonna emit red light of a strength about 8. For the edges we're gonna give it a red metallic, almost brown. Here I'm just basically giving it another metallic shader with a different shade of red. For the number plate it's fairly simple. Metallic on the edges and white shiny plastic in the middle. Black plastic for the text. We're gonna do it for the front plate as well. For the windshield we're taking a glass shader, making it a bit dark and reducing the roughness. That's about it and don't forget to check the screen space reflection. For the interior part we're just changing the color to black in the principal shader node. For the tire, give it a black color, change the specular roughness and give it a clear coat and adjust the roughness of the clear coat. I am not adding any more details to the tire since I want it to look brand new. For the rims, give it a metallic texture but reduce the roughness only by a bit. For the smaller part of the rim, give it a darker metallic texture. 
I'm giving a normal metallic texture for the disc at the back. And for this one, I'm giving it a black metallic texture. And for this brake pump, I'm gonna give it another metallic texture as well. Now I'll be applying the windshield texture to the sides. Now for the mirror, we're gonna use a glass shader with a roughness value of 0 and index of reflection value of 1000. For the studio material, I will be using a procedural texture that I've used from previous projects. You don't have to use the same one, so feel free to experiment. You have to keep in mind that procedural textures are generally more detailed, so it takes longer render time. Whereas using image textures depends on the resolution of the image, which can render faster in most cases. For this thing on the rear view mirror, I'm going to use a glass shader. I'll change the color to yellow. I'm going to use an image texture to fake the Fresnel. I'm just going to smart UV unwrap this object so that I can see the Fresnel. I'm going to connect that to the displacement node. Now let's move on to the camera placement. I'm going to place a camera for the first shot right in front of the car, slowly animating it forward. I'll select all keyframes and change its interpolation to linear. I'm going to check the depth of field and select my logo to be the center of focus. I'll change the f-stop value to 1.2. This angle is going to be my second shot. I'll slowly pan my camera from right to left. My third shot will be from the back. I'll slowly pan my camera from left to right here as well and change the interpolation to linear. For the final shot, I've used the track 2 constraint which will track the null I placed right behind the logo and I animated it from top to bottom. Now let's get to lighting. To light my first shot, I used a point light, one on the top right and the other on the bottom left and animated it across one another as the power is slowly decreased to zero. I added one area light on the top for fill light and animated it from left to right. I also added a spotlight which filled the lower parts which went from right to left. For the logo shot, I soloed the logo and used the same lighting. For lighting the second shot, I used area lights which were horizontally scaled and went from back to front of the car. For lighting the back shot, I used an area light to fill the back. One point light for rim light on the right and an area light on the left side. I added another area light on the top as well. For the final shot, I used five area lights. One to fill it from the top. Second one in front of the car. Third one on the diagonal right to fill the bottom. Fourth one on the far left to give it rim light. And the fifth one to fill the right side of the car. Now your car is ready to render. Let us know if this video has helped you in any way. And don't forget to like and subscribe to help this channel grow and keep creating this type of content. See you in the next video. Peace.